imagine you're parked on one of the parking spots at Walmart. All of a sudden, this guy walks up to you, insists that you move your car because he wants to park where you're parked. What would you do? Take a look. The man won't get away from my car. What? What am I doing? I'm because he's insistent that I pull out of my parking space. Okay, so what are you going to stand there until I leave? Yeah. Why? Because they want a parking space. Well, it's a, par a public parking space and I can leave when I want to. I can leave when I want to. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't need to stand at my window. Okay. I will call the police. Oh. I will. Right, you don't need to stand at my window, sir. What? You don't need to be standing at my window. I'll call the police. ridiculous all because they want my parking space I'll leave when I'm good and ready how about that if you were the driver that was being asked to move your car in order for this guy to park in your spot would you have moved what would you have done actually let me know in the comment section Karen was caught on camera not minding our own business. Take a look. Stop. But I don't interrupt. But, right. But no one, no one invited you into my conversation. But no one invited you. You started because you jumped in my conversation. You because you're immature. Okay, but you jumped in my conversation. No one invited you. It doesn't matter. Oh, it only because it doesn't matter to you. You freak out because you're immature. Wait, I freaked out? Adults were conversation <laughs> No, it wasn't this, it was this, and you jumped in. You immediately called games, even though we're trying to talk about like... But no one said, hey ma'am, yeah. could you jump in our conversation? It doesn't matter. Don't I know, because you didn't like what you heard. You don't have to be... But no one said, hey, could you jump in? To go box, please. You're out of line. Yeah. You're yeah. so out of line. Yeah. Yeah. You're out of line. You know what? Could you jump in? Oh, yeah. No one said, hey, come on in our conversation. You just decided to do it. And that's the problem with out here, is you feel like you have the right to jump in our conversation. No one, mind your business, mind your business. you could have said. No, I couldn't have. But I don't interrupt. But, right. But no one, no one invited you into my conversation. But no one invited you into my You started because you jumped in my conversation. you because you're immature. Okay, but you jumped in my conversation. No one invited you. It doesn't matter. Oh, it do, only because it, it doesn't matter to you. You freak out because you're immature. Hey, I freaked out? Adults were conversation. <laughs> no, it wasn't this. It was this. And you jumped in. You immediately called games, even though we're trying to talk about like... But no one said, hey, ma'am, yeah. could you jump in our conversation? It doesn't matter. I know, because you didn't like what you heard. You don't have to be... But no one said, hey, could you jump in? Again, to go box, please. You're out of line. Yeah. You're yeah. so out of line. Yeah. Yeah. You're out of line. Yeah. No one, could you jump in? Oh, yeah. No one said, hey, come on in our conversation. You just decided to do it. And that's the problem with out here, is you feel like you have the right to jump in our conversation. No one, mind your business, mind your business. Do you think it was fair that both the customer and the employee Karen both got kicked out or do you think the employee should have been kicked out alone let me know what you think in the comment section drama at mcdonald's over 20 pieces of nuggets take a look at this I'm sorry. I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> <laughs> you got what? To what? You got what? To what? You got what? To what? What you got? I don't know the address, man. What you got? Twenty nine. Yeah, I can 
<laughs> this customer's action is one of the reasons why a lot of people do not want to work retail or basically they do not want to work at a fast food restaurant don't you think let me know your thoughts in the comment section drama at dollar tree between the store manager and a cashier take a look pay for how you treat me y'all's gonna make you pay for how you treat me stick your finger in my face one more time i'm gonna write you get out gonna make you pay for how you treat me no i'm not going nowhere i came into work and that's what i'm going to do i'm sitting here disrespecting me in front of people okay get out i don't disrespect you so don't you disrespect me do you want to talk to me bad in front of the company now i'm getting on you in front of me because i don't like the way you treat me i don't, I don't care yes Somehow, I kind of like the fact that that cashier stood the ground against that store manager who was being disrespectful. Don't you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. On this one, who do you think is in the wrong? Probably the driver or the police officer. Take a look. Sir, what's your best number? I have the camera over here. What, what is your badge number and what's your name? Show you your license now or you're going to be placed under arrest. Why, why, why are you going to run my license, license right what's now? What's the reason of placing him under arrest? Because he used Failed the harness? Failed to give license and registration no. to a police what, officer. What was the reason to pull over? I can give it to you, but you're not going to run it. I can do what I... He doesn't, I'm going to run it. You don't, have, no, to, no. you don't have to give it to I him. didn't do anything wrong to... to, to, to step to, out of the car, you're under arrest. No, I'm not. Don't what? step out. Don't you have step two out. choices. You give me your license and registration you well, uh, you... You call the supervisor and no, what's your best number? I'm gonna, I'm gonna I do not need to call the supervisor. What's your, what's your best number? Yes, you do. No, I'm what's not your, talking to you. He's Mario, the driver. Stop. I'm talking to him. What's your best okay. number? License and registration. You have no best number. Okay. You have a detective License number. and registration and you're going to be placed under arrest. Last time I'm going to say it. Wait, wait, wait. For what? For failure to give me your license and registration. Yeah, but I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Yeah. You're making a motor vehicle stop. I'm asking For what? You. No, because you used the car? Because you had to Mario, stop. I already explained it. What's to you. the reason to stop? I'm finding out why you're honking at me. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I say you, you, no you park on the middle of the street. I wasn't parked. Yeah, you yes, stop you... allowing a vehicle out. The, the, you still okay. have a three car spaces to the to the to to, to that to that to that. Okay, well you can bring that to the judge. License registration, please. Last chance, okay? Can I see your supervisor? No. Why not? Peter, he, he Last has, chance. Peter, he has to uh tell right. me. Badge number and name. Yeah, and can I have your badge number, please? Uh, if he doesn't say, that's that's. Can a, I have your badge number, number, please? Uh, As well, he's not mind. getting the license. Last thing, okay. You're under arrest. Step out of the car. Step out of the car. Stop. Give me the license. I give you the. I give you the license. You're under arrest. You get out of the car. Out of car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. For what? Get what, out what's the reason? Under arrest for failure to produce license registration. Hey, I'm gonna. This is only recorded. You can't do this. Your yeah, wife did give you a speeding car or no, some shit? I need the supervisor. You can't do that. Oh, you don't get pepper spray. Last chance. You, 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 you're not down. No, stop. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. All right. 
After watching this whole clip, is the officer justified for arresting this driver for honking at him? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Please take your time to watch till the end this drama that happened at a local Walmart. Take a look at this. Or you know me. You're in here acting like you know me. Do you own the store, though? If you is, wasn't, is it, your problem? it don't matter. We're here. Story, we're, okay, you're. What are you like? Right, Fifty? We're we're not near your age limit. You're, I, you're, like, gonna be like, what are you looking at? So how is it your problem? You came over here, stank on people. Mind your business. So simple. Screaming, but it is everybody's business when you make it everybody's business. Okay, so not really. Some people are in good moods. We're not miserable like you guys. And that's fine. But don't be screaming in a Walmart. Because we can. Because we can. Because we can. I'm going. Okay. So just keep why, why are you business? Business? And you're on that so, right now because so, you want that. So why are you stank on people? Right? No, not really. We were actually having fun with our friends over there, but that's none of okay, your business. Okay, so have fun. Okay, so mind your business. So go if we have can't, fun. After I'm sorry, you guys are talking. Business. I am going to Okay, so you had something stank to say over there. That's crazy, though. Go back to your aisle. Go have fun. Go. We were until you had a. My business, but you guys are making it my business. Mouth, so no, we're not. Look. You're making it your business. Oh, All you had to do look. is keep going on. Oh, stop recording me. If you or, no, that. this I is mean, public, so it's cool. It, right, great. But right. why are you recording it? Because, again, cause, you want the interaction. Because I can. That's the thing. Okay. Have a good one. God bless. All right, goodbye. Thank you. Have a good one. God bless. Self checkout is up at the front right, uh, left. Baby oh, wipes are over there to wipe your. Dad. Do you need a do you need a Tylenol or something? Your head hurt. What? what are you mad for what though? Cause y'all told me to mind my business. Yes, when mind y'all back the fool up and walk. Yeah, is, okay, is that your business? Do you know us? Do you know us? So why? Do you know us? That's not you your know problem. Us? Yes, I do know you. Okay, so what's my I name? I do know you. What's my name? So, what's my name? What's my name? I don't. Okay, then you don't know me. No so, so why are you what? asking me that though? What does okay, it matter? So if I know you, don't talk to me and approach me if you don't know me. What does it matter? Because you don't know me. What the? What does that matter? Like, it's not even your business. Like, we I really have, don't need we to know. We were trying to have. Shopping. Go do your own thing. Right. That was so talking first because people are having a good why time. Goodbye. Somebody in Walmart got to open their mouth, bro. Always. Stop, stop feeling why the title. Because you're in a title. Stop you're feeling the title. Bro. You're in a title. Stop feeling the 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 title. So Have keep fun. it moving. Bye. Bye, you privileged champion. Mind your business. So then let us mind our business. So mind it. Don't go. Don't talk. Why are you don't talk. Mind it. Did you say something about champion? You're wearing feebles on. Come on. Oh, get out of my face, the? bro. I feel like I'm privileged. Yeah, you clearly do because you're, you're mad. You're mad because people are. Stop you're mad because people are having fun at Walmart. Goodbye. You start talking about champion and you got fila on. Right? I drive a Honda. There. Shopping at City Trends. My face, bro. Yeah. I'm leaving, bro. I'm not dealing with it. I like him. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> She's so mad because people are having some fun. Like, bitch, she don't get that. She said you champion her and bombs. I said, feet on your feet. Don't worry, <laughs> champ. Yeah, seven dollars hoodie. The shoes on my feet cost more than your car. Right? I'm wearing three hundred dollar Tims that I have for have fun. I'm leaving because I know the police gonna show up. I'm not, they can't do nothing. Nobody did nothing. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Bro, and this if I walk in towards the front, you know they're gonna go find somebody. Bro, who cares, bro? I don't know any y'all. Yes, I am. Wait, wait, first I see Facts. Look, they still talking about facts. Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, shh. Because everyone else doing it. We can already drop it. Grab your soap. I don't know what you get. I already got this. Oh, all right, then. That, what's wrong with you? Bitch, it ain't Chris. I'm going put it back. I'll take one. Why you got your stomach hanging out? Right. Go ahead. She got me telling you when she said that. Like, you had your whole muffin top hanging out in the front of your pants. Right. That's a decent exposure. Nobody wants to see that. I was trying to de escalate the situation. I was like, listen, you don't know us. Like, we're trying to have fun. Like, we were just being well, obnoxious. The one lady was, she, she was pretty much telling them they need to help. Yeah, just bounce. Like, like, bounce. You know me? She I do you know you. I said, what's my name then? What? She was starting. Star. Oh, 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 oh. Why do I gotta know you? Why do I gotta know you? I was gonna say, you know somebody, you don't know me. As far as I'm concerned, both parties were in the wrong and they were both Karens. 
Don't you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Karen tries to play the victim, even though she was in the wrong. Take a look at this. Passenger on He called your name three times. He did. The morning was at 8.42. I got here at 8.50. If you're going home, wait, you're ready for the first service. Let's see what line she tells you. I cannot imagine that this lady would expect that the plane would still be there waiting for her after she was 15 minutes late. Unbelievable. Finally, for this video, who is the Karen? Take a look. What's your name, please? My name is Jessica. Your name's Jessica? Okay, so you're going to show me the rule that says where a child cannot have a bathing suit on in a water park hotel. Show it to me right now. Yeah. Show it to me right now. You're going to lose your job. I promise you that, eh? Show, the, show me the rule that says a, a child cannot have a bathing suit on in a water park hotel. Show it to me right now. We're not going to have this conversation. We are. We're going to go back to your room. We're having this conversation. Show me the rule, please. Ma'am, all show I did was please. to cover up. Show me the rule that asks... Show me anything that says outside of water park hours you have to be covered up ma'am she's a child show me the rule show I me the rule if that's a real rule show it to me ma'am i'm gonna ask you to go back to your room oh don't okay i hope you enjoy your employment because this is probably gonna be your last day here my opinion on this one is that the customer seems to be more of a karen than the manager what do you think let me know your thoughts in the comment section